Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is The Resby. What I'm about to say is about to change your life. If you are watching this video and you feel disconnected from God, I'm telling you, by the end of this video, I'm going to give you the steps on how to regain your relationship back with Christ. Get a pen and paper or write these in your notes because there's no excuse after this. No excuse. So the first thing, getting into the tips, because we're going to get right into it. First thing I had to do was remove myself from sin. The first tip is going to be to remove yourself from sin. Okay. Romans 6.23 says, for the wages of sin is death. Okay. Sin is not a game. Okay. I got a taste of that old life and it's just not for me. I wanted to see if it was the same, like how it used to be when I was a lost, lukewarm Christian, and it is not the same, okay? Once you come out of that life, once God, once Jesus brings you out of that life, and you go back to that life, you're going to be like, what am I doing? Why am I even here? Sinfulness, unrighteousness is the absence of God. What is the absence of God? The devil. So. If you want to keep entertaining sin in your life, you are not honoring God's work. And if you're not honoring God's work and you're not doing what he says in his will, that is written right there. If you're not doing the laws that he created, not even the laws that he created, if you are intentionally doing everything that God did not intend for, you are in the absence of God. You are not protected by God. Therefore, your life is going to be chaotic, okay? You are not going to be able to hear God. Get that gut feeling, the protection of God. Remember, this is flesh. We have souls when we pass away. If you do not have God with you and you are in the absence of God, you already know what that is destined for. Okay, not good. Okay, first John chapter one, verse nine. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Okay, clean, pristine slate of all unrighteousness. Remove yourself from the sin. Lust, idolatry adultery, lying, killing, stealing. This is not just the commandments, okay? All of the things that you know is not right. So if you're doing sinful ways, you're not going to hear from God. You're not going to hear the voice of him. You're going to be disconnected. Why? Because God is righteous and you're doing unrighteous things. So the first tip is you need to remove yourself from sin. Now, this is going to be one of the hardest things to do, but once we get past this, it makes everything else easier. You have to realize the sin, okay? Listen to this music, okay? What are they saying? Are they promoting what's right, which is marriage before sex? Are they promoting stealing, scamming, being a thief, being a liar? Are they promoting the goodness of life? You have to remember what you listen to, read, who you're around. All these things, your environment shows who you are. It shows your heart. And remember, God is all about the heart. And it shows what side you're choosing. You've got to remove that sin out of your life. You got to stop. And so that's what I had to do. I went back to my Christian playlist. I fasted. I prayed. I asked God to relieve me from being, uh, he says, be transformed. Okay. I'll put the scripture right here. We are not to conform to the worldly ways. We are to be transformed. And I, that's where I messed up. Okay, and that's where you might have messed up as well. What you have to do to first 
connected with God. You have to remove yourself from sin. So the second tip, moving on, you need to repent. Okay. Now, this is going to have to be a long, personal, maybe emotion, emotional, maybe um, this is going to be emotional, this is going to be vulnerable, this is going to be open. You have to repent for your sinful ways. Remember, it says, 1 John chapter 1, verse 9, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all, I mean all unrighteousness. You must repent and ask for forgiveness in the name of Jesus. That is when you will be freed. And you know how quick Jesus is to be like once you repent and you you have to repent. Why? Because Jesus did the ultimate sacrifice for us. He died on the cross so that we could be here because God couldn't take our unrighteousness. God, we almost were wiped out in the flood, okay? But Jesus came down here on the cross, on the cross, and it bared our wounds, our afflictions. You must repent. You must apologize. You must be sorrowful for your earthly ways. Because the minute you are to repent, Jesus is just like, new slate, new slate. Why? Because he understands us. Because he was once us. And guess what? He doesn't hold anything against us. I don't think people n realize that, but Jesus doesn't hold anything against us. So, repent and ask for forgiveness. If you want to hear God's voice, if you feel disconnected, you have to repent. You have to say a repentance prayer. Heavenly Father, Lord, I repent for my earthly ways. I ask you to deliver me from my earthly ways, and I ask you to renew me the Christ way. In the name of Jesus, amen. You have to repent. You have to say the repent prayer, and you have to ask for forgiveness for your simple ways. That is the second tip. The third tip is to seek God. He loves you and wants access to your life. I just learned a huge tip. When you're walking, when you're at the gym, when you're you're walking, when you're at the gym, when you're at your job, when you're at school, invite Jesus to where you are at. Believe it or not, he wants a relationship with you so bad, okay? He's just knocking like, I want a relationship with you. I want a relationship with you. I want a relationship with you. And you just keep going. You have to say, hey, Jesus, I invite you to my day. I invite you to the gym with me. I invite you to work with me. I invite your presence. I invite your presence right now in the name of Jesus. Don't put what your earthly family past and like things that y'all going to go that you're going through with your earthly family on Jesus as your father. Jesus is somebody who always forgives, who always will nurture you, who always will discipline you, although. And he's like a best friend, but a best friend that takes disciplinary actions because, but he's also like a father at the same time. He loves you. He wants all access to the parts of your life. God is always seeking you out. So you have to take that initiative to seek him out as well. Get into the word, okay? Listen to the Bible when you're on the way to your work. 
when you're on the way to the gym, when you're on the way doing an errand. Get you a Bible study notebook. Bible study three to four times a day. Go to Bible study. It's more than just waking up, going to church on Sunday. Church doesn't mean anything to God because that's not about building a personal relationship with him. Build a connection with him. Get into the word and understand him. That's a problem. A lot of us don't understand him and then get mad when things happen. Get to know him. Love his ways. Everything in the Bible is there for a reason. There's no reason that there are so many Bibles and they say the exact same thing. See God. He loves you. He wants access to your life. Take the initiative to read your Bible. Get the Bible. Be, get the Bible app. The Holy Bible app. And another thing I want to point out. Get a Bible that you understand. That's a quick quick bonus one. Sometimes I can't read the New King James Version. So the NIV or the NLT. Amazing. Okay. Get a Bible you can understand so you can build a connection with them. Because guess what? Stop using the excuse of, oh, I don't have a Bible that I can understand. Them. Okay. Get the Bible app. It's free. And put the version where you can understand. The easy read version. I use that from time to time so I can understand certain names and things like that. It's there. Stop being lazy. And... Stop moping in the feelings of, oh, I don't feel a connection with God and going into more of a simple life. That is what the devil, that is what the enemy wants. We don't give him what he wants. Remove the simple ways, repent, ask for forgiveness, and seek out God. Seek him. Number four, listen to him and trust his word. Okay, so now... Or to the point where you have removed people, you have moved yourself from sin. You have repented and acted for, act for forgiveness. You have seeked God. Now, the fourth thing to do is to listen to him and trust his word. So now you need to, anything he tells you to do, any conviction that you feel like you, you um, any conviction that you feel, do it. Trust in him. We trust in all these other things in this world. We trust in technology. We trust in that there's going to be tom a tomorrow. We trust in bank accounts. We trust in people. How do we trust in all these things that are forever changing? But God's not forever changing. God, love is steadfast. God has a firm foundation. God's love is always there. Why don't we trust him? Because we don't trust ourselves. Okay. When you build that relationship with God, you will trust yourself. Because the Holy Spirit is through you. Because he created you. Listen to him. If he says, for example, do this, start this business, start the business. Obey his word. It is written. It is written. I don't have to say all these things on here because guess what? It is already done. The will is done and listen to him and trust him. If he says, be patient, this is your waiting season, be patient. Listen to him, honor him, seek him, put him first in your life now. And the fifth tip, <laughs> the fifth and, and the fifth tip is to be patient and steadfast. I know that as a follower of Christ, I have things that I want to have in my life fast. And that's like, it's not the timing. You're not ready. You have to get ready. I'm going to build you up. Be patient. Be patient. There's nothing like overnight success. Everybody has a turn. Everybody has their turn. If it's not your turn now, guess what? It's not, you're not ready yet. And if you are ready, listen to God. What does he say? Pray, ask for it in prayer. Lord, I ask you to enlighten me about the things where you don't see I'm ready yet. I'm ready yet. In the name of Jesus, 
put it out there. Ask God. Be patient. Jesus is very patient because if it was me, huh, couldn't have been. Couldn't have been me. Couldn't have been me. The Jews, yeah, you're done. Okay. Apostles, where were you during the crucifixion? Yeah, you're done. That is why it couldn't have been me, okay? But it was Jesus who was a walking flesh spirit. If God is willing to be this slow to anger as much as stuff that is going on in the world, you, as a human being that was created by him, don't believe you should be patient you don't trust God's timing? Who? Being patient teaches you a lot. Being steadfast teaches you a lot. I'm not changing whether if I have to wait um, one year, two years, three years. I've been doing YouTube for so long. This is this year and a little bit of last year. It's the first time that I'm seeing results. And I'm perfectly fine with that because I'm being patient and I'm being steadfast. I'm not moving from this to this to this to this to this i'm doing the same well i'm not doing the exact same thing but i am not changing the basics okay this is me i'm not going to pretend to be anybody else it wasn't my time then it's not my time now but whatever is my time time because time doesn't exist time doesn't exist to god this is just an, a human being thing. Whatever is my time will be my time. In the name of Jesus, amen. The amount of stuff that I have learned in my journey has been crazy, crazy. And if I had got overnight success back then, I probably wouldn't even, people probably wouldn't even, I probably would have fell off right now because of how quick things like are pick up. But I thank God that I didn't. I thank God that I, I'm moving slow, that I can reach the people that I need to reach, the girls who are suffering, the people who feel disconnected from God, who can't hear God's voice, the people who want to escape the nine to five, the people who want to know how to start a YouTube channel, the people who want to be more feminine, the people who don't feel confident in their skin. I want to reach these people. I want to reach you. I'm so glad that you watched this video because this is what God ordained. This is what God set out to do, not only for me, but for you. And I went from making extremely selfish content to making content that applies to so many people and has touched so many people's lives that I have emails of people emailing me about how my video impacted their life. Imagine if I was just an overnight success. Imagine if you took off on whatever you wanted to do and it's 2024, almost 2025, and people don't even know your name now. God is God for a reason. I don't need to question him. The things in the Bible are written way before I existed, way before I existed. And I don't question his moves of if it should be this or if it should be right. There are many millions of copies of this Bible, of reports, of research that says the exact same thing. Earth could not be created by dinosaurs. Energy cannot be created without energy. Human beings cannot be created without energy. As energy, as human beings, being patient, watching yourself grow through these trials is the biggest thing ever. You know why? Because just like Job, he will use those trials to test your faith, to see if you're ready for the next step. And that is why it's important to be patient and steadfast in his love and his prayer and his obedience, because it is all going to test your next steps of faith with him. A relationship with God is a two-way street. He knows if you're not all the way in it. He's always in it. But are you? That's why we came to these 
five steps on how to gain a closer relationship with God and you feel disconnected from God, this is the video you need to watch. Number one, remove yourself from sin. You have to do it. Two, repent. Ask for forgiveness and ask for forgiveness. Three, see God. He loves you and wants access to your life. Four, listen to him and trust his word. Trust his word. Big one. And five, be patient and steadfast. Thank y'all so much for watching. I really appreciate y'all for watching. And whoever watched this video, I'm so glad that I was able to reach you and to impact your life and to help you gain that connection back with God. All these five steps have helped me gain a dramatically closer relationship with God. I hear God's voice. I hear him talking to me. I, I, I have a better positive outlook on life. And I know what to do. And my life is back on track in my fellowship with him. And I want yours to be as well. If you want to come back to this video and if you want to see the tips, they will be in the description box below. I love you, each and every one of you. And I pray that you will hear God's voice or God will take action into your life and that you accept Jesus Christ into your heart because he loves you even if you commit even if you do simple things don't abuse grace but make sure that you repent and you ask for forgiveness because the time is coming soon God loves you and God wants a relationship with you never forget that thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video God bless y'all